Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Dreamcast review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Gigawing 2, which we never played it before, it's a shmup. Um, I'll get into some stuff a little bit later on about why I bought the game, because that, as soon as one of my friends will have seen this, he'll be thinking, what the hell, I told you not to get it. But I will get onto that in a little bit. Um, at the start you've got Arcade, Score Attack, which you can play any of the seven stages in Score Attack once you've unlocked them. Ranking, which is basically how well you've done, and as you can see there, uh, digit wise I've got 16 digits which 6 digits is 100,000 I messed that up in my last vid I've probably been slated for it in a comment so I didn't want to mess it up again and I, it, it's one of those things though that uh, I just didn't catch it in time and uh, it doesn't really matter I suppose in the grand scale of things um, gallery, loads of different pictures that you can unlock, it's nothing really too special, I mean there that's one there you know, it really isn't anything too special. Um, options, you can choose a hell of a lot. You can put the difficulty on one uh, between 1 to 8. And it does seem that you get infinite continues. So you might as well put it on 8, I suppose, and get a better score. Because when I got the game, I played it for a couple of minutes and thought it was okay. I, I could see what he means, why I shouldn't have got this one and stuck with the first one. But then I actually had a couple of mates come round, because this one's 4-player instead of 2-player. And while there was only 3 of us... We played it three times in a row, we just beat it outright again and again and again. And we kept upping the difficulty and removing how many bombs that we had and increasing how many lives or decreasing how many lives. You know, just to try and do anything to make it harder because we're having so much fun with it. And other than that though, you've got some usual stuff. You can put event voice on, game voice on, controller settings you can customise. Secret option, you've got character event and multi-character mode. Uh, I'm going to leave multi-character mode on because you'd think that means multiplayer, but it doesn't. And I will show you in a little while. Uh, well, to be fair, a very short while. Um, from there, though, you can play the game normal mode or four player. You get five crafts, vehicles, whatever, and each of them play totally differently. And then you can also unlock another five craft, the original five from the first game. So you've got ten overall, and again, they all play totally differently. Uh, it's not as if, like, it's just slight differences. I mean, this is... I don't even know how the hell you pronounce that. Relugo? I suppose his name is. This is his ship from the first game, and this is his ship from this game. So as you can see, other than them being green, there isn't a real, you know, similarity there. They are completely different with what they can do. Uh, and it does mean that you've got a hell of a lot of gameplay there, because even if you just play through it again and again, um, playing with the different ships, and that's pretty much what we did when we, when we beat it three times in a row. But, multi-character mode. I've obviously done something wrong there. Uh, I obviously didn't push the right button, but basically multi-character mode, it means you play with more than one ship at a time. And it's a little awkward to get used to, and I will definitely show it off, because I said I would, and it's one of the most unique things about the game, I suppose. But for now, I'll just have to forego that and mention the, the, a couple of things that you can do. So, first up, when you die, you will get a choice of a new ship, and you will get a choice of Reflect Force or Reflect Laser. As I can't read Japanese, and this is the version of the game I've got, so it also means I haven't got a clue if the story's any good, I haven't, I haven't got a clue if I've ever got the good ending or the bad ending or anything. Uh, I don't really know, because I even used a cheat code to unlock the characters, because I couldn't work out if I was doing uh, well or bad. It means that I don't have a clue what the difference is between Reflect Force and Reflect Laser. Now, I've just been using Reflect Laser there. It was that green ball of energy that you kept seeing come out of me. I've now changed to Reflect Force. You want to see the difference? It's a purple ball of energy that comes out of you. And the man in the background, or the woman in the background, depending on the character you play, shouts something completely differently. I've also realised I should have chosen more than one life for this continue thing, because uh, I'm having to choose continue all the time. Although it does mean that I'm getting to show off a few different ships, I suppose. Uh, it's just remembering which ones I have and haven't been so far. But, um, yeah, it, it, I really haven't got a clue what the difference is. Because both of them block bullets and mean that you can pretty much fly into things and not get blown up. And it means that if you're playing a multiplayer game, you can come in and save your mate's arse. Or in our case with a three player, you can have two of you playing cooperatively. And then one of you is sitting back waiting for the others to die so that they can steal the power-ups out of your dead body. Which is where a lot of the hilarity came in. Because... As you might have noticed, things keep flying all over the place. Some of them are score. The P's are power up and it makes your shots better. The B's are bombs, which each character has their own bomb, except they all do the same thing, blow the hell out of everything. And 
when you die you lose your power ups and they just go flying around so if you spawn in time again and maybe if you had an extra life in the credits or maybe if you just all die together then it means you can get your power ups back otherwise it means you're all fighting for the power ups and that's where again some more the hilarity comes into it because seeing as you do have infinite continues then it it's not so much a game about playing cooperatively as it is about screwing the other person over as much as you can. So you can really set it up nice and well that, oh, you've just stole the third power up, even though I told you I needed it, right? You're not getting protection anymore. So all of a sudden they're in trouble. You intentionally go out of your way not to save them. They die, you steal the power ups, and it just becomes a tit for tat situation. You, you're all trying to kill each other. Um, if Friendly Fire was on the game, I don't think we would have ever beaten it, quite frankly. Uh, we really did go just nuts with it and just had a really good time. And it's why I'm glad I bought it. Uh, I understand where my friend came from, and he's probably commenting as I speak. Uh, and I understand where he came from with this game not being as good as the first one, but it's more fun, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think the first game is a better standalone shmup game for shmup purists, uh, for people who just want a well really good shoot em up but for people who want a good multiplayer experience as well as a good shoot em up then i think this is definitely the better game um i just had so much more fun with it uh gameplay wise i did say i'd re-mention the seven stages it's for those who don't know shoot em ups aren't supposed to be long i think we beat this three times in the space of 90 minutes roughly 25 minutes each time and then we messed around in the options and we changed things up a bit and then we chose different ships and just things like that and it does mean that you can beat the game awfully quickly uh, but it's designed for getting a high score and beating it and I'm happy that, that we managed to actually beat our score every time and I know fine well when they come round again and when we get a fourth player in this is going straight on because we can have so much fun with it um, it's just one of those things though uh, that each person is different and I'll never see a, that someone shouldn't like a game I'll never say that someone should like a game even my most favourite of games Ocarina of Time I know people who dislike it and I'm friends with them because I'm I'm not you know so much of an arsehole to the point that I think how dare you not like that which I like it but at the same time I think that this game does get a bit of a bad rap uh, from shooting up fans and I think that it is something that maybe people should try again with the four player and maybe they should just play it with the right people if you know what I mean maybe you should play it with a mindset of having a daft laugh rather than being competitive and awesome with it and you'll probably then get the competitiveness out of it because uh, that's exactly what happened with us and I know I'm wobbling on but it really was the case of we didn't care about score until we beat it and then we saw the score and it's just like what the hell number is that we, we couldn't work it out so then we thought well I wonder if we can get that number bigger so we changed the difficulty put it up and we got it bigger and then we thought well right then what if we put it up the hardest difficulty let's see how big it gets and it, it just became like that and now that I've discovered because unfortunately I didn't do it on the night that there's the other five ships that you could unlock then I definitely know this is something that I'll play again and again because it now just gives us even more opportunities to play it and have fun with it and to be diverse with it um, I honestly haven't got a clue as I say the difference between that reflect force and reflect laser I've tried to change it up every now and then as I've died just so you might be able to see a difference um, and I've also tried to change to all of the ships. I, I haven't got a clue if I've managed to show off all 10 or not, but I would suppose it's not really that important. Graphically, the game is really good compared to the first one. It looks so much better, but it might be because this one does work on a SCART cable, which is better than the RF, and at the time of reviewing, I still haven't got the VGA sorted out. So maybe I'll revisit in my own mind what the, both games look like with VGA. Musically, though, it does sound really good. I like it. It's almost cheesy at times as well but I still like it so I'm gonna shut up and let you have a little listen to it now
Right then, that was a little bit of the music, and uh, I'm glad that I was able to shut up and pay attention, because uh, basically, when you are all on at the same time, it, it does make it very hard, and obviously it's something that's lost in translation. But I have at least found out the difference between the two of them. When I was playing alone, because this is the second time I've done the music, because I realised I hadn't actually shown the two ship mode, the multi-ship mode on, which as you can see is quite manic, and it, the ship just hugs here basically, and it, the, the other ship gets lives as well, and I think it changes up the story if you can, you know, read the language or get the um, English version, even though it's the American version, because it never came out over here, which is why I had it imported in the first place. Um, but it, it does kind of get lost because there's so much going on and you never really know who's fired what. The sole difference between the two of them is one of them at the very end of the animation does fire tiny little laser beams out and the other one fires bullets out. And that is the difference between the two of them. So at least I've been able to mention it and I'll be able to tell my friends as well and they'll at least know and be able to work out which one they're going to use in the future. Although that's the other thing I suppose, we really couldn't work out the difference in power either. So now that I know what the difference is with one being lasers and the other being bullets, I honestly didn't really notice any difference in effectiveness is what I should be saying. And um, you might have noticed that there is every now and then a little bit of slowdown in the game and it definitely worsens with more than one player. It's something that when all of you are using the reflect either force or laser at the exact same time or all of you are using bombs one after the other, the game can almost come to a halt but it's nothing game ending. It's just you'll have to work together as a team to try and avoid that by all using the same stuff at the same time. So that is everything I can say. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion. So instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching. And if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there. And don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.